So here we are again, Factorio, and this time they released the, well, I don't know, it's not the base game, so it's like a beta version, 0 0.13, and I tried it and it changed the cheat engine around a bit, or I, rather they, they changed their values around a bit, so the cheat engine video needs a bit of update. It's not a big deal, it's like, uh, I got a, an example here, I coded it up real quick, took me about 15 minutes, but yeah, you uh, used to be inventory size w uh, or inventory was written in increments of 16 into memory, now it's 24, so that's the only difference. Everything else works the same, but yeah, I, I encountered instabilities in my previous um, code, so now I'm using a little bit of a roundabout approach. Uh, so to get Factorio 0.13 in Steam you need to go to properties on your s Factorio entry, go to betas and select from the drop down list all 13. I got it selected so it will download some files. It's not a big update size wise but let's start it up. Well, and I'll just go with just some random. Also, if you have any mods, you should go inside the mods and just click a toggle on everything. So, if something is written in uh, red letters, you need to go and go through all the mods and click toggle so that they are grayed out. Like, well, it it will ask you to restart the game anyway. So, yeah. So let's jump into some kind of just random map whatever okay uh, let's see I need wood oh crap okay I needed a box from the wood so the first things first you need a box and you all are already have the eight plates uh, uh, Oh yeah, whatever. So let's search for that eight plates in the memory. So I got this new. Well, let's see. It's the same process. Factorio, you're searching for a byte, and I've got this. Um, yeah, this file prepared. I'll have to uplo upload it. Well, don't execute the script. But yeah, search for 8, just leave these values hanging around, change it, you know, like right mouse button, click over this item and it will pick up half the stack, go back to cheat engine, search for 4, you know, do the same, 6, and it should find, yeah, see this value is the only one that didn't change, so now we copy its address, I have a slot pre prepared, you know, I have my, let's see, my hotkeys set up, you know, I just increased the value, so let's go press J and it updates, you know, whatever, and if you want more, just, you know, multiply whatever, so, yeah, and that works because well the new addresses it used to be plus 10 now it's plus 18 and it's in hex I apologize for making a mistake in the first video it's actually uh, it's 18 in hex and 10 was 16 in decimal so it just aligned that you know it aligned with decimal values so whatever I don't know. <laughs> so now it's 18 30 48 and so on you need to I, I know that the next one is 96 and it's 60 so these slots are prepared for research plus 48 and um, also in the table 
short sheet table script uh, somebody updated this code for me so thank you very much and you know same thing as before you know we just if I if I wanted to add uh, the slots from this container I would you know copy paste its address here I would specify how many but uh, this is starting from the second slot and see this step it used to be x10 now it's x18 to represent this one see x10 x18 that's it that's the only difference so yeah if I yeah the first slot is for for things and second and third let's see I'll demonstrate well, I'll show you um, let's go to my thing I'll go to yeah let's go to my search value and I'll go control B view the region in memory memory and as you can see first slot is the wood so two and the next value is here 64 I think no 64 here yeah see 100 that's our value here and if I change it to 50 I, I, I don't know what, what what kind of code is presented ah, crap. I always get these mixed up 32 so it used to be 64 in the memory region so now it's 32 see so one two eight three eight that's how you get it it used to be that the next slot was here so they lined up nicely so but now they jump around so next one is here see this zero one next one is here zero three you know one three three two and so on so that should work automatically so yeah thank you for watching nice factorial updates uh, let's see tech tree I think they forgot something that when you make a lab and you put it down it no longer opens the research screen automatically so you need to somehow remember that the shortcut for research tree is T by default <laughs> so I think that they that's a bit of oversight on their part but it's yeah it's a beta version like it's not not released you can try it out it's really cool. There's also, there's also this cool video. Um, this one. This guy goes over all the changes. Mangled pork gaming. Go goes all over all the changes for the patch. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. You can still cheat away. You know, I usually just, you know, manually make uh, these researches, and then, you know, from there it snowballs. Thanks. Hope you found it useful. <laughs>